I'm an ex-visa officer and you want to know why did the visa officer not look at my documents when I went to my visa interview? Well, this is very common. So many visa applicants come to me and they tell me that they went to their visa interview, they were super prepared, they had all their documents ready, they spent weeks gathering all these materials, they had a packet of hundreds of, of papers and documents and certifications and licenses, and they went to their visa interview and the visa officer didn't look at a single document. Well, this is why. The visa officers are under a lot of pressure to go fast. They have to make these decisions very quickly, usually within just a few minutes. They need to take what you're telling them and then make a decision. Do they trust what you're saying or do they think that you're telling a lie? Once they hear what you're saying, they're going to make that decision as fast as possible if they're confident that they have enough information. Only after hearing what you've said, if they still have a few doubts, but they think maybe things are okay, I need a little more information, then they're going to ask you for some documents. They're going to want to see some bank statements. They're going to want to see your invitation letter. But it's only after you speak to them that they might be interested in seeing your documents. So what does that tell you? You need to be focused on your presentation. You need to be focused on how you are going to verbally convey your case, the highlights of your application to the visa officer, not the documents. You should have all your documents ready. You always need to have your documents as a secondary backup in order to prove what you're telling them, in order to show some extra information, some extra credentials and qualifications. But you do not need to think that the documents are going to be the primary evidence that's going to move the visa officer from thinking that you're going to be a refusal to being an issuance. That is only gonna be from your speech. The visa officer is going to ask you a question. It's probably going to be very open-ended. It's gonna be something extremely general and vague, like what's your purpose of travel to the US? In response to that, you need to be prepared to give them all of the highlights, all of those credentials that are buried in your documents, you need to present those verbally and in a very short amount of time. Within 15 to 20 seconds, you need to be able to get across all of the highlights of your application to the visa officer. If there are hurdles, very clear hurdles in your application, it's during that 15 to 20 seconds that you also need to present your defense against those hurdles. If you've got a prior refusal, if you had a cancellation, a turnaround at the border, something that happened, if you've got something where your previous application was very different and now you've changed your purpose of travel, whatever those hurdles are, that's the time to present those too. But it's in the verbal presentation of your qualifications that you're going to convince the visa officer to issue you your visa. Not by having all of that information, all those facts, all that supporting evidence in a stack of documents that's never going to be looked at, okay? So prepare your documents. Have all of them ready. Have them very organized so you can quickly locate any document the visa officer asks for, but don't let that distract you from your preparation for the verbal interview part. That is what's going to get your visa issued and that's what you need to focus on. Good luck.